I'm back at my house, at least temporarily. Um, they still haven't quite fixed the road, but it's almost to the point where we can get home after Hurricane Irene, and we have power. So, yeah! Alright, now I'm going to do a lovely little bookshelf tour. They're full effect. This is the bookshelf that my boyfriend got for me. And now it has books. One of my only complaints about this bookshelf is a mass market paperback cannot fit in this in-between spot. I think they did it so the books wouldn't fall over, but it's a little awkward. However, as you can see, I just stacked them up in the middle, otherwise I wouldn't have had enough room. So to start off with, here's another one of my birthday presents. It's Computer Engineer Barbie. I got this from my boss and his husband, so thank you guys. I love my Barbie. I'm gonna have to actually take her out and play with her at some point. I have a few CDs here that I also got for my birthday. I will probably be using this short space because like not much can fit in there for CDs. Um, I haven't put any of my other CDs up yet, but I've got Muse, Hullabaloo soundtrack. I've got T Kate Nash. I finally got Lady Gaga, Born This Way, and the Kaiser Chiefs. Here's Truly Angry Mob. I am still addicted to getting actual CDs, unlike the rest of the world. Alright, so these three books are kind of like my book queue, the ones on top here. Uh, occasionally I have Kindle books that'll go in between, but I kind of keep like a general queue here, so... Uh, right, I'm go I plan on reading. Right now, I'm reading A Storm of Swords, the third book in the Song of Ice and Fire. Then I'm going to read The Sky is Everywhere, which is on my Kindle, and then Swallowdale, The Murder of Roger, Ackroyd, and Across the Universe. I've organized my bookshelf by basically two categories, books I've read and books I haven't. Because um, I have a Kindle, a lot of my books aren't up here, obviously, and most of these books are books I have not read. So starting off, we have Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I absolutely love and adore this book. It's one of my favorite books, and I have it on the Kindle as well, but my mom decided to buy it and read it, and she enjoyed it too, but she gave me the physical copy. Same thing with Catching Fire and Mockingjay here. I want to get the, ho the Hunger Games in a hardcover, but I'm a bit lazy. I love that whole trilogy. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a classic. Uh, I really enjoyed the miniseries and decided to read the book. Book is rather good. I actually enjoyed the miniseries more, but book's still good. Next I have Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens. I actually read this book. It's like a thousand pages and it's a Dickens. Um, I'm proud of myself though. I read this book. Heck yeah. And next we've got Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Very cute book. I have a review on this one. Oh, I actually enjoyed Little Dora, by the way. It was actually rather good, but it's really long, so, uh, yeah. We next, we've got Black Star Bright Dawn by Scott O'Dell, one of my favorite kids' books. Uh, we've got Scott Pilgrim. I actually only have the first one. I've only read the first one, but not because I'm not interested in the other ones. I just randomly forgot about them, honestly. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Love this. Very fun. Right here we have some more books I've actually read, and these ones are more uh, cultural or impressive looking. We've got The Code Book by Simon Singh? Sign? I'm not sure exactly. That's a cool book. It's about different code breakers over time. It's a really, really good book. I highly recommend that one. We've also got The Devil's Arithmetic, if I can hold it, by Jane Yolen. That was a really good book, too, actually. And we've got Roots by Alex Haley. <laughs> yes, I've actually read Roots. I read the whole thing. It's really good, actually, honestly. 
We've got Dreaming in Chinese by Deborah Fallows and Where Men When Glory by John Krakauer. Over here we have a little Jane Austen collection thing. It has Sense and Sensibility, Persuasion, and also Pride and Prejudice, which I'm letting my mom my mom borrow. I enjoy I love Austen. I love her, love her, love her. I uh Persuasion's my favorite, if anyone's curious. And my mom's also bar borrowing Rebecca by, I believe it's Daphne du Meyer, but Barnier, actually. And then right here, these books are books that I'm borrowing from people. So these ones, Family Tree, The Salem Falls, Testimony, Perfect Husband. These ones are all in hush. These are all my mom's. And these next three are from my boyfriend's parents. Actually, for these two, I don't know if my boyfriend was borrowing these or if he meant for me to read them too, but whatever. Next we have... These books are books that I haven't read from here on out. These three are books that intimidate me, but I really want to read. We've got His Dark Materials, Philip Pullman. This actually isn't too intimidating because it is technically a kid's book, uh, but it's a huge volume and... You know how I am about huge books. And then we've got Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. I've always, I've been wanting to read this for a long time. And eventually I plan on reading it, but I haven't yet. And then we've got Harry's Potter at Philosophy Lapis. <laughs> uh, I, it's Harry Potter in Latin. I used to take Latin, and I loved Latin. I was really good at it, but I haven't taken Latin in a long time. So, yeah. Next, we've got books that I'm dying to read. These are the books that I'm right now the most excited about. Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. Judy Bloom, Forever. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And in the French Kiss by... I forget her first name. Stephanie Perkins. Poison Study by Maria Snyder. Eon by Allison Goodman. State of Wonder by Anne Patchett. I want to add an R for that. I don't know why. A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. And Hoot by Carl Hyacin. So these are books that I'm also dying to read, but make me look more intellectual. Ha ha ha. We've got The Color Purple by Alice Walker. I actually got this from my friend Paul. He was having a tag sale and giving away a lot of his books. A lot of them come from Paul. We've got Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. This one ended up intimidating me because it's really thick. But I do want to read it pretty bad. The Language Instinct by Steven Pinker. I got this one at college for a linguistics class. And I read some of it actually and I absolutely love what I've read of it. I actually will plan on reading that one at some point soon. Carl Sagan, Pale Blue Dot. So over here, now from here on out, they kind of go less and less desire to read them, but we're still in books I really want to read. Elsewhere by last name Zevin, G Gabrielle Zevin. Shakespeare, The World is Stage by Bill Bryson. Sabriel by Garth Nix, I believe it is. The Shepherd's... Oh, Sheep Farmer's, rather, daughter, Elizabeth Moon. The Eye... It helps if I'm actually looking at it. The Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by uh, Stieg Larsson. I have had this for a long time. I don't know why I haven't read it. I think it's also Intimidation by Trilogies or something. Whatever. Classical Civilization, Stephen Kershaw. I, again, love Latin, so thought that would be good for me. Triangle by Catherine Weber. got from my boyfriend's mom. Let's see. But she actually gave it to me. She said it was okay, but I can totally see. The Screwed Up Life of Charlie the Second by Drew Ferguson. I got this one from Paul. Red Wall by Brian Jacks. Uh, Rules for Old Men Waiting, Peter Ponce. The Coldest Winter, Paula Fox. So 
some of these you'll re recognize from my my hauls here. 